All right, clutch number three for the season, guys. Sorry if this sounds a little scratchy, and this girl is ready to go, as you can see. Um, this is our Enchi Clown Girl, bred to our Soul Sucker Desert Ghost Male. Um, so we're looking for double heads here with Soul Suckers and Enchi stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get her off here, see how many eggs she has. She's getting closer and closer, so I'm going to back up a little bit, um, and we'll be right back with the eggs. All right, she had nine eggs, two slugs, um, seven are good. Here's the seven good ones. Their average weight is 116. <coughs> Told you I might be coffee and scratching this one. 116 grams per egg. Uh, this one up front is a really bad boo bag, so we put it separate so we keep a close eye on it. Um, and we will put these in the incubator and be back in 55 days. All right, day 55, actually 56 on this clutch. Um, just a heads up, I'm running solo today. Holly isn't here, but we have a pipper, so I need to cut these. Um, so sorry we won't have our normal close-ups, and I hope I keep what I'm doing in frame. If not, apologies on this section of cutting for this video. As a reminder, this is our Inchy Clown to our Soul Sucker Desert Ghost. Um, so everything's gonna be double heck Clown Desert Ghost. Looking for Lesser, Hidden Gene Woma, Granite, uh, and Enchi. Uh, I said this on the last clutch, but I haven't had to identify Enchi, or sorry, um, Granite or Hidden Gene Woma at all yet, so the chances of me identifying them in an egg is probably slim to none, so don't be surprised if I'm not sure about a lot of these, but that's also our normal process is we're not sure about a lot of these. So let's get these open. We do have one um, that had a really bad boob egg and then molded on the boob, but everything else looks okay, so I'm kind of optimistic that that one is actually going to be all right. So, we're going to start with our, our pipper here. Get these out of the way. If you've never seen these, this is what we use to hold the eggs in place. Though we are switching to dragon hatch trays slowly, so we won't need those anymore. Alright, so from the head, this guy looks pretty normal. Am I in frame? Yep, I'm in frame. So again, sorry that these are not going to be close-ups like normal, but... If you ever have to cut one with the head out, I actually like starting... Um, Rather than trying to cut right next to the head, I actually like starting away from the head and then cutting to the slit that they already have open because it's easier that way. And just nice and slow when you get next to them. And basically connect your cut to their slit like that. All right, I'll open that up a little bit more now that they were able to pull their head in. Now again, if I say stuff's normal, it could be hidden genome or granite. Um, Actually, that looks kind of granite to me, maybe. See the, the side speckling that might be granite. This egg actually didn't dent in on this one egg. Um, maybe we'll wait a little bit to cut that one just to be safe. Oh, I didn't show you a close-up on the last one. Apologies, I will I'll go back to it here in a second. Again, Holly's normally doing those close-ups for these cuttings, so I'm so used to just kind of cutting and paying attention to my cutting job that the filming stuff is... I'm not in my mind when I'm doing this normally. Alright, that is a soul sucker. And possibly Enchi as well. Also, of course, Double Head Desert Ghost. Um, yeah, so I was totally out of frame for that. So, soul sucker, possibly Enchi, Double Head Desert Ghost Clown. I'm going to stop saying Double Head Desert Ghost Clown because that's everything. Uh, here is that one that I said is likely granite. All right, and maybe I'll try to make sure I'm actually in the frame for cutting this time. And mad, mad respect to all you guys who do this alone all the time. I guess you get used to it, but with me not being used to it, I'm sure this is not going to be our greatest cutting. So if that is Enchi, that's our best possible combo we could get out of it. Um, that looks to be Enchi, maybe Enchi Hidden Gene Woma. Next egg. Oops. Looks very, uh, very similar to the last one that might be Entry Hidden Gene Woma. Also, be careful, I can't get too close to the... It's a little lighter, though. Um, can't get too close to the camera, though, because I'll drip stuff everywhere. Let's 
sorry, I'm kind of at the edge of the frame for the camera there when I'm cutting. All right, that's another uh, soul sucker. Yeah, that's a big difference in color between the soul suckers. Interesting. Substantial difference. Hmm. I don't know what's going on there. We'll see when they get out of the egg. Maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. It's an interesting difference. All right, the two eggs that are slightly concerning. This one that's not dented in at all. It's a little concerning. See what's going on there. They are a little dented on the bottom that I can feel, but definitely not dented on the top. The shell actually feels um, a little different when I'm cutting it too. I don't know what that is at all. That is weird AF. Um, it's still alive. I, I don't think that will make it, but I'm going to leave it. It's alive for now, and it looks like nothing that this combo should have created. So, yeah. I don't know what that is. Um, I'll try to show it to you so you can see it. Um, hopefully you can see that. I can't do much more than that. But I don't know what that is. That doesn't look like anything that should be in this clutch. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to leave that alone. And also, given that it didn't dent in, it's really tiny, like way small for how long it should, how big it should be. Um, it is alive though; it's moving around. So I'm gonna leave it for now, and we will we'll see what happens with that one. All right, and this like way moldy egg, though it only molded in this one spot near the um, where the window was. Oh, sorry, not the window; the boob egg was. Let's see if it survived. First sign is good. That's clear liquid. That's what should be there. Yeah, there. There's a fully developed animal. Sorry, I'm. Yep. So I'll get a little closer. Sorry. Double checking everything. So uh, that's. It looks like another soul sucker in there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and leave them alone as well. They look oh fine. So that's it for this clutch. Um, I don't have high hopes for whatever that is it's way small the egg didn't develop right um but it is a funky looking snake that's for sure so i am gonna guess it's not gonna make it but we'll see other than that uh we'll wait till these come out and they have their first shed and then we'll go ahead and do our identification all right results from clutch number three again and there they go that's okay uh <laughs> and again this was our Enchi clown to our soul sucker desert ghost. So everything is double head uh, clown desert ghost. So with the double head clown desert ghost said, I'm not going to say it for everyone. We got uh, no normals, which is nice. We got an Enchi. Mm -hmm. And then we've got back here. I'm not going to pick them up because they're together already. Two hidden gene womas. And then we got a soul sucker. And then this is the Soul Sucker Enchi, which if they'll let go, apparently they're not going to let go. <laughs> All right, Soul Sucker versus the Soul Sucker Enchi. You can see the lightning that the Enchi does to the Soul Sucker. Mm -hmm. um, so that's it. That's the results of this clutch. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Wrong way. <laughs> Zoomed in on that pretty far. Okay. Uh, anything you want to mm -hmm. add, Holly? Nope. All right, so a whole bunch of double head clown desert ghost stuff. Um, and we are off to our next video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and we'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye, everybody.